Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and as you can tell by the title of this video, we are looking at some LED lights sold by LED wholesalers. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> Anyways, so we're looking at these, and they're called uh, LED strip. Uh, they're like 16 feet. They're 16.4 feet long, and they're $25 on Amazon. Um, by the way, we're not doing an unboxing because I already unboxed these, and these are in fact out of the box. So this box is like freaking light. You could drop it from a thousand feet, and nothing's gonna happen to it because it's so light. Anyways, so showing you around the box here, it just says LED wholesalers with their website, um, some sort of like barcode on the side that might show some sort of like tracking address or something. See here. Um, it says LED wholesalers with LED strip kit on the front. By the way, um, this is only part of my Apple collection, but it may look a little bit dim because, uh, one of my, um, I don't know what to call it, but, uh, where the, like, my socket, I guess I should call it, for my LED light, the socket in inside the internal thing is, uh, is faulty so it doesn't work correctly so uh what i'll do is i'll just quit and then like you could unscrew the bulb in and out and it'll never work again so it's kind of weird so only one bulb for this part is working anyways so let's go in and show you what was in the package so you get this nice little remote i believe this is 42 buttons by the way not sponsored so um just want to clear that up very nice. Uh, takes the battery is CR twenty twenty five, so um, it's very nice. Gonna set that here, and then here is our LED strip that comes in this little spool thing, um, sixteen point four feet long, so it's pretty cool. Um, and then we get this power brick thing, and then with the little connector here. And then we get this. This is a little control box here with the um, the infrared light right here for the remote. And right there is like a little connector. So um, it's very cool. By the way, inside the box there should be a little insert. But since this has been in our garage like five times, um, well it's not there anymore. So let's go ahead and show you how to kind of set these up. So what you want to do first is of course get this. You want to plug it into your little box here. It goes in just like that. So then it connects. If it's tangled around, that's all right though. And then it's pretty simple from there. You just connect your light strip to here. And it only goes one direction. No, not the band for all of your girl fans. Um, so it just connects like that. By the way... Warning, do not light this strip as it is coiled up. So don't turn it on when it's like this because, uh, well, it'll kind of catch on fire probably because it gets so hot. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in somewhere and go ahead and show you how it works. All right, so I'm in the hallway to my room and you can see I have it all out of the uh, spool here that I'm kicking into the wall right now because who cares about that crap. Um... See here we have the LED strip and it does have 3M on the back so you could kind of stick it to a wall or whatever. Show you here, these are cuttable. So, um, pretty small LED little things. Right there. So, um, you see it's all connected here. Then we are going to get this end and plug it into the wall. And you see it lights up immediately with your last setting um originally though let me turn it off originally though uh when you first turn these on it'll be red so not white so let's go ahead and turn it on by of course pressing the power button see it turns on now we're going to turn down the brightness there we go so it doesn't blind you guys um but oh, wow it looks like it's flashing on the camera it's actually not in real life it's just that's the way cameras pick up light I guess so it's really not flashing in real life um anyways so I guess I'll kind of raise the brightness um and let's say I want to change it to yellow now it's sort of a yellow 
Uh, now I want to change it to white, which is sort of a weird r white. Let's go and put that up all the way. That is extremely bright. What about red? I swear, these are so bright, it's crazy. Dim it. Um, now let's say we want it to go, uh, let's say we want it to flash. With it very bright. No, I'm joking, I don't want to blind you guys. Um, oh jeez, that voice crack there. Um, what about jump three, which just changes colors. This setting doesn't know. I don't know what it does. This is a fade setting. Oh, wow, that gets bright. What about this one? Uh, and then let's say you're in this and you want to change it to pink. Because your sister just came in the room, I guess. I don't know. Um, green. Whatever that color is. Blue. Purple. Pretty cool. Anyways. Um, so enough jibber-jabbering about just colors. Um, it is very bright. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you. Okay, so this is the lowest brightness it could get. And this is the highest it could get. Extremely bright. Let's go ahead and just back away. It's pretty goddamn bright. So it's pretty cool. Um... By the way, we bought a uh, fish tank, a big 55-gallon fish tank, and so we're going to use this to kind of light the uh, shelves up on the bottom for the stand. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool, and so far it's worked pretty well. By the way, LED Wholesalers is not sponsoring me, nobody is sponsoring me, and uh, but we did buy it from Amazon for 25 bucks from LED Wholesalers. By the way, 16-foot. So, um, it's pretty cool. Very, very nice. Uh, has a lot of colors. Um, so yeah. I guess that's really all for this video, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.